Hi everybody, Mona here from Mona Rose Art. Um, hope you're doing well. And um, I haven't been actually so active in uploading. Um, but lately, uh, my pillow wouldn't co uh, cooperate. And I don't understand the reason why. So that's the white one. So I'll have to check it out and make sure what, uh, you know, that if maybe this uh, period is going to be fine. And I mean by that also the Glidden Essential, because I like to use Glidden Essentials for like uh, small tiles and I have to make 20 um, um, coasters, 20 sets actually of coasters. So, yeah, I might actually decide and think to, to do a, um, a colored uh, pillow or black until I figure out or I use um, color to go, which is thick to start with by Sharon Williams. So yeah, I have to do some experiments. But now I will be showing um, you guys how to mix uh, the primary uh, elements from Color Arte. And um, this actually uh, came as um, a request from a couple of people that just bought the uh, pigments and they want to make sure that uh, they're using it uh, right. So I will have also the thickener. So, what do I need more? Okay. Okay, well, everything's here. So, so basically, what I do is um, I take the one over eight. I'll show everything now. Let me just take it off. Take everything off. I, I usually also keep all of them, all the one eight, one four, um, and then one tablespoon all together and keep them with the pigments um, ready made for that purpose. So what I start with usually is I take uh, the one fourth of a... Um, uh, I think this is a tablespoon, right? Or a teaspoon. Teaspoon, a teaspoon. And then, of course, I would be having my um, pouring medium ready. And yes, my pouring medium is thin. But I didn't want to change it now and use um, a pouring medium that is, uh, I'm not yet... Um, I haven't yet used it. Um, I want to change one variable at a time. So while using a new pigments to me, they're not in exactly new pigments, but to some extent, because these are, if you see, these the granules here are uh, bigger. And at the same time, these are more like shimmery. Um, and also they're semi-opaque. So anyways, I didn't want to change my pouring medium at this stage. So let's now go ahead and take one fourth of a teaspoon and put it in the container that you're gonna use um, for mixing. I hope also that the light is good for you because this is a new, a new light holder and camera holder holder so that was also the reason why i wasn't videoing and then you basically take uh one eighth of a teaspoon and just just full you know not not heaped but just full and if I need more uh, for a medium than this, I will, uh, I will put more, 
but because this, like I said, these are um, coarse granules and the primary elements before that we had uh, were like thin granules. Now I'm looking for my uh, napkins that, that I just saw a minute ago. <laughs> okay, we might not need it, but just in case, we don't need it actually. I will leave this spoon to be washed in a bit. So, so then we close this one. And I mean, obviously, whenever you deal with uh, pigments, you should actually be wearing your uh, mask. Uh, because I mean with every pigment it's powder I mean these are also at least coarse but the finer you go the easier it flies and it uh, it can reach your lung so yeah uh, as a measure of safety uh, you know just wear when uh, you're mixing or basically until you disperse the pigment you know, once you disperse the pigment, you're you're fine. So I think I'm gonna need more to this because I can tell that I mean they are coarse granules. They take uh, first you disperse them and then you want them all like ni very nicely dispersed and nicely uh, wet. So I'm just gonna take another fourth so you know it doesn't hurt if you do also from the start you go for like half uh, a teaspoon and you just use that to disperse the pigment make sure that you all those uh, granules um, you know uh, touching your porium medium and basically uh, you go with this until that sandy feel that sandy feel that you you feel when you mix is not there then you know that you dispersed so it's not actually just wetting it's dispersing this, these granules uh, in the in your pouring medium and here I'm talking about um, color art uh, pigments. Color art pigments are to start with um, dry paints. They are dry paints and then they're crushed into granules. So that's why it's okay to use your um, pouring medium to disperse, uh, you know, the pigments. While other pigments, for example, uh, jacquard or uh, this little piggy, you need a disperser, uh, not the porium medium. This is some kind. This is a kind of an advantage to to using, you know, um, color art pigments. Is this fact that you use one material but I mean you know I already I have also made one one full so now that we're good I made one full um, video about talking about um, dispersing different pigments uh, including um, color art eh? so now it is dispersed and by the way this is the the color it's called it's beautiful color i will show it to you now see how rich it is it's uh bellagio blue but i mean it's kind of um purple purplish blue but let let's um let us now add a uh, medium. So basically then, take it away. Just put it here. 
Yeah. Well, I didn't do anything. Yeah, so basically then you take one and a half more or less of your podium medium to be exact one and a half here and then you basically uh, start mixing it takes a bit of a while a bit of uh, time but I mean you know put some music and just enjoy I myself find a lot of joy just mixing the color and seeing how they develop and how beautiful they become and sometimes they make some more than I need just because I I get carried away you know that goes of course for big mans it goes for two pains so Okay, I just want to make sure that I am getting all those pigments that are in the bottom of the container and on the sides as well. Okay. So, by the way, for people who are in Canada, uh, there is already um, a branch. I believe an independent uh, store that sells color art pigment. You can find it today in my uh, Instagram. I have a link. I have that li the link for that store, as well as I will link it also in this uh, video. Now, even though I mix it now mix it very well but oh what did i get here you know what that is why oh my god this is not good so there is a layer that was uh, look at this but it's good i got it and i was like why it's difficult so anyways this is a layer that was of um, Josania varnish and it, it dried and it dried uh, with no color. And of course, uh, I was like, why is it difficult? So I'm glad we got it out. Now we can go smoothly. Look at this. Well, that lucky piece. So now it is, see, oh no. See, it is very thin. So, I mean, I have to also make sure I don't have any clogs now. I don't want to repeat this video, guys. No, we're good. We don't have any of that. Those are blobs, you know. But anyhow, now we're done. It's good. What a surprise. So now... Of course, I'm using this, guys, the stick. I find it sort of um, easy to go into the small uh, hook, 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 yes, like uh, corners, you know. Uh, but now, also, I received these guys, small guys. They're supposed to be for yeah for face cream or something and so today i thought i will start using them and we'll see how i you know if they're gonna be good so since i have that i'm just gonna take this off i usually finish everything with the stick um so now we need to thicken it so what i usually take um something like this i either use like right now what i have or actually what i had 
was this uh, Liquitex Professional Acrylic Medium uh, Gloss Gel. It doesn't actually say if it's um, soft or, you know, it doesn't say that, but I just received so this is this is the amount more or less I hope it's clear but for any of you that find it unclear or maybe one point I missed to uh, mention or uh, you have an issue with um, uh, one or the other of the uh, color art you just can uh, you can leave a comment here uh, and some of you guys come from the back door also which is, which is very fine by me so this is soft gel here but also you can use regular regular gel to thicken I'm comfortable with the soft gel so I got one gallon of that <laughs> hmm. Okay, so, and you just basically then, uh, I mean, the reason why I choose soft gel is, it's exactly like the, when you mix uh, Amsterdam paints, how smooth they are. Yeah, once I put that, and also li this Liquitex, by the way, is, I find it very good. If this is cheaper, I don't know, per 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 ounce or per gram. Take the cheaper, of course. I think we're good now. You know, this is a bit uh, still. This is a blob there. It's a bit a bit thick, also. But I mean, I will leave it now. This is good. Notice also this is a big stick here. So of course there it's, it takes a lot. So, uh, so this is good now with the measurement I gave you. Usually what I do for pigments especially is I mix them one day, let them settle down. And then I come next day and check them. If let's say they're fine, then I go ahead. And if not, then uh, I just, you know, um, thicken, them, thicken them, thin them. And uh, yeah, then it's all, uh, we're all fine and we're ready. Um, so this is going to be for, uh, let's say, tomorrow's um, work, hopefully. And yeah, my pouring medium uh, is made of a liquor, if that's the right, uh, and it's pink, but it, it dries fine. Okay, so let, let's keep this where... I'm gonna go for a wash and this one goes to the trolley. And that's it guys. That is um I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh so yeah, it took a while, huh? Already fifteen minutes. Okay. If I forget anything, please let me know and then we will uh discuss it in between um uh, you know, uh, in the middle of another uh, painting or something. Um, not to forget that if you ever like to buy any of the new sets or um, uh, use my code uh, Mona Rosa Art, all in small letters, and then 421 Mona Rosa Art 421, and you get 20% of all the products. Uh, if you need any advice on like what to get if you're new or uh, right now they have also uh, put in a glitch in bottles that gives you also a lot of 
possibilities. Once I have them, I will also introduce them and introduce also how we can use them, etc. Okay, guys, bye for now. Any question, like I said, just you know how, how it goes. Bye for now.